The suspended ceiling is an accessory object that automatically generates a ceiling grid to the size and shape of an Archicad zone using the Interior Wizard add-on. If you don't have the Interior Wizard, this can be downloaded for free from the Help menu. To position the ceiling, first ensure that you have a zone drawn to the correct size and shape. Select the zone in the floor plan and go to the interior wizard in the design extras menu and select create room accessories. Click ceiling accessory and select the suspended ceiling object. Click OK to place the object. This is now displayed in 2D and 3D. The default panel sizes can be set in the ceilings options. and the origin position and the angle of the grid can be offset by selecting the editing mode. The grid's origin can be set to any point on the floor plan and rotated to any angle. Another editing mode allows the sizes of individual rows of panels to be individually adjusted. Using the default settings, a simple grid will be displayed in 3D. However, the options allow rails to be displayed and the panel type to be changed with further customization for the panel dimensions. The ceiling also includes an option to cut or omit panels to allow lighting to be positioned. Firstly, enable the lighting and select the positions of the lights, for example, a 4x4 grid. These are now displayed in the 3D window. However, some lights are not ideally positioned. The origin point of the lighting grid and the positions of individual lights can be offset in 2D by enabling the editing options. The lights intersecting with the walls at the edge of the grid can either be offset into the room or offset outside of the boundary of the room if they are not needed. The ceiling can also use custom panels and lights that are saved from the floor plan as custom components. Here is a panel drawn using the slab tool. To save it as a ceiling panel, select the elements in the floor plan and go to Save Custom Component in the Libraries and Objects menu. Choose Custom Ceiling Component from the drop down list and save the library part. This will now be available in the ceiling settings if a custom panel type is selected. If later on the building design is changed, the ceiling grid can be updated to the new geometry. First of all I'm going to make a change to the building and the floor plan. To update the ceiling to the new geometry, select the updated zone and go to Update Room Accessories from the Design Extras menu. The ceiling grid can also be used for more complicated shapes, such as this curved structure. This works in the same way. Select the zone in the floor plan, Create the room accessories and place the ceiling grid. To finish, I'll offset the grid to a rotated position to correspond to the building's orientation. And here is the result in 3D.